NASA has announced delays to the Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon. The agency's chief, Bill Nelson, says the next mission, which will see astronauts orbit the moon before returning, will be pushed back to April 2026, while a possible moon landing mission won't happen till at least 2027. The program was set up during President-elect Donald Trump's first administration with the goal of returning astronauts to the moon for the first time since the Apollo 17 mission. The announcement comes as Donald Trump announced a billionaire businessman, Jared Isaacman, as his pick to lead NASA when he takes office. Mr Isaacman is an associate of SpaceX founder Elon Musk, who's hoping to make swift advancements in Starship development during the second Trump administration. Dr Sarah Webb is an astrophysicist from Swinburne University of Technology and joins me now from Melbourne. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Yeah. What's your reaction to this announcement? Well, these, a number of announcements, in fact. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's been a big day for, for <laughs> space news. So I think um, the, the optimist in me says that this was always kind of expected with the delayment of the Artemis program. This is a very complicated program. Um, it was always going to be optimistic to try and have those launch dates at the set cadence from several years ago. And so I think we should not be concerned that this has been delayed and it has been delayed for good reason based on the heat shielding and um, reconfiguration that needs to be made to that. Um, so I think that's something that We'll have to temper our hopes of seeing humans on the moon for a couple more years, but I, ho I hope that we'll get there. Um, similarly, with the announcement of the nomination of uh, Isaacman, I think this is a really interesting one. And I think Isaacman has been a very strong proponent for space and very strong proponent for um, commercialization of space. And so I, I have hopes that we're, we're not going to see any significant changes to the direction that NASA has already been going in, which is making great strides, especially towards the uh, Artemis program. Mm. And so just in, t in terms of Artemis first, what more can you tell us about the reasons that prompted this delay? You touched on the heat shields mm. there. Is there a bit more information you can give us? Yeah, absolutely. So what this capsule is doing, it's the Orion capsule, and it will be bringing the humans back from the moon, back into our atmosphere. And they're going to be traveling at enormous speeds. It is exceptionally dangerous because of that heat transfer. So what this capsule does is it bounces off our atmosphere. So you can imagine it coming into the Earth. It bounces a couple of times off the atmosphere to slow itself down to, to minimize that heat transfer of energy. And then it will re-enter and burn up. And so what they found with the original testing on the Artemis 1 capsule, capsule is that there were slight anomalies um, and performance issues that they wanted to readjust and um, make sure that they were confident on for Artemis 2 and 3, which they've analysed. They say they have a set path and I'm fairly confident that uh, this will be fantastic moving forward. Yeah, Dr. Sarah Webb, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, Dr. Sarah was an astrophysicist with Swinburne University of Technology. Thank you for your time.